We are here in Arizona at the Women's Freestyle Training Camp. I have Dahlia Garibay and Marissa Gallegos. They are Colorado Mesa um, student athletes. So girls, talk a little bit about, let's get an idea of who you guys are. Um, I wanna start with Dahlia. How did you get involved in wrestling? Well, I first, like I played two sports. So I played softball and I did jujitsu. So going into middle school, I was still playing double sports. So like getting into high school, you kind of like want to pick one sport and it was like I didn't jujitsu there's no jujitsu in high school so at the time softball was kind of like slowly I wasn't in love with it still so I kind of was like well I kind of gave it up and then my cousins did wrestling so I was always around wrestling like their tournaments cheering them on and so I love jujitsu with my whole heart so the closest thing to that was wrestling so I dropped softball, I quit, and joined the wrestling team in seventh grade, and since then, I've been wrestling. Now you're in a college program. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Marissa, what about you? Okay, so for me, started off as a gymnast when I was like a little kid. Then I started doing judo because my brothers had always wrestled, but in the summers they like to do judo so they can learn how to throw, so when they start learning freestyle, so I did judo, I got really competitive in judo, and one day, like, my brother's coach says, if you're good at judo, you should try out wrestling, and he was like, if I help you make weight for judo Pan Ams, because I had hit a growth spurt, and it was just harder to make that weight class, and he helped me make the weight in terms of, like, diet, training, things like that. He said I have to give wrestling a year of a try and I tried it and I liked it. I did freestyle, I did Greco and it was just really fun. And here I am now. Yeah, and you're from the Col you're from Colorado, right? So you've been around the yeah. Olympic Training Center and all of that. Yes. Dahlia, you're from California, right? Yes. So you're yes. wrestling hotbed for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. Um so this is both of you guys' first senior camp. I just want to know what your first impressions were of it and how it's kind of been so far. So, um, Marissa, we'll start with you this time. So at first I was like, wow, like I actually got invited to go to a senior camp. I feel kind of special right now. And then co going into it, it was good. And I like how we did like the individual focus, just really having like one-on-one -on -one with Terry or Jessica or Clarissa. I feel like that's definitely helped me perfect like little things that I was missing in my technique and just afterwards I just feel so much more confident in what I can do offensively and then I like how we follow it up by like a combat day so now it's like what you just worked on try it out in live and have fun with it yeah and it's good to get those different feels from some of the best people in the world too like Jakara and yeah. Burnside and things like that and for me, it's humbling for sure because like after a while, like when you have the same partners, you know how each other wrestle, but when you have new people and new fields, you have to adapt and you might get taken down. You might get more takedowns. You might score off a way you didn't normally score. It just helps you be more flexible in your wrestling. Yeah. Dahlia, what did you think? Um, I've been to two cadet camps, so this is my first senior one. So. I kind of know how camps are run and stuff, but it's so different from the cadet level. Like, I'm here with people that are world champs. Like, I'm and at the time, like now, I'm at a higher level than I, when I was when I was a cadet. So, like, I'm seeing more openings. Like, um, like Precious Bell, she helped me on some of the technique today. Like, everyone's like just willing to help you and help you get better. So, I love that everyone's like willing to just be there for you and be like, hey, like you should do this instead. Instead of this, try this. Like. It's so opening and I'm just seeing more stuff like in my wrestling like I feel more better like I'm getting to that level of the senior level and just opening things up. Yeah were you guys are all intimidated thinking about Marissa you mentioned some of the best athletes in the world are here at this camp we've got world medalists world champs were you all intimidated and how how did they receive you Dolly you kind of yeah, touched on it. Um, I'm like a shy person so I'm like hey like all shy like it's hard for me to open up so it's like intimidating like oh like Cause I've only like seen them wrestle and they all look mean. Like all of a sudden, I'm like, are they getting nice in person? Are they gonna talk to me? Like it was a little intimidating, but once you're here wrestling, like everyone's just so friendly and welcoming, so it's nice. Yeah, and I want to get into a little bit about your college program, Colorado Mesa. Um, what is the training like there for you guys, especially right now, coming off a pandemic and trying to have a college season? Um, Marissa, we can 
hear from you on that. So yeah, we weekly test and right now we have not started school yet since break, but since I've been there before the camp, we were doing two a days, so like a practice in the morning or a conditioning session in the morning. And then we do a little bit of hand fighting and then te technique and then drilling all four sides of the body, like right, left, front headlock, and then four point move. And then we'll do some sparring and then live wrestling. And really it's been, it's been pretty tough get, getting right back into it. Coach is really trying to get us into shape right now, but even with the pandemic and stuff, it feels like it's starting to like slowly back off and we're still prepping for nationals in March and we're prepping to wrestle next weekend. And the intensity has been great with our team and we have more people around my weight and I feel like I'm getting more and more feels and I feel like I'm peaking at the right time. That's great. Dahlia, can you go into a little bit about your competition schedule? I know you guys have stuff coming up next week. Yeah, uh, next week we're flying to Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're actually driving to Limestone to do a tri -duel against Limestone and Ferrum. And then the following day, we're driving to Bristol, Tennessee to do another tri -duel against uh, King, Emmanuel, and McKendry. And then I want to say the following week is around January 30th or so, is um, we're hosting a tournament and we're not too sure on who's all coming to that yet but that's for sure like on the list of January 30th is like we're, we're trying to host a tournament we're just not sure who's coming and then after that I believe we have regionals and um, nationals after that and that's it for our season really. Yeah um Colorado Mesa is a pretty new program it's only a few years old Marissa, what do you think? You guys already have two girls at this camp, right? Like, what do you think is contributing to the success and the quick growth of the program? A lot of it's Travis, and he does it all by himself, which is crazy because mm. there's so many girls. And I think part of it, too, is us returners and stuff setting the example. If someone's not keeping up, you're telling them in a nice but harsh way to sprint faster or pick up your pace so yeah. we're not going to get in trouble for it and things like that and I think part of it too is just everyone wants to be great and as long as you have are eager to want to get better you'll push yourself and me I feel like I help be a leader we're both captains and we help work with others on like if someone wants to work on extra stuff we'll stay the extra time with them and we'll also set the example of working hard really does pay off Mm -hmm. even if at first it feels like it doesn't but over time it will add up yeah and Marissa touched on Travis Mercado uh, your head coach a little Dahlia can you kind of expand on um, what his leadership is like and, and things like that yeah um, him doing it himself is you know crazy like he's helped he has a team of like 25 to 30 girls and it's just him and you know he's always willing to come in like me and Marissa will come in together and be like hey like Today we're going to come in at Wednesday at 9 and would you be willing to come into the room and help us with certain technique? So he's really like works with uh, his time schedule to come in and if you need help he's going to help you. Like he even at practice there's so many of us like in a group like he's always walking around like making sure everyone they like he's making sure that the technique is good like he'll walk around make sure everyone's getting it then we'll move on like he's so technical and like He's so willing to be there for you to help you get better to that, you know, senior level to get where all your goals are accomplished and stuff. So, yeah. And ladies, I forgot this earlier, but can you tell us what your weight classes are and what you are anticipating your next senior level event to be, or or national level event? Okay, so for the college season, I'm 123 pounds, and I plan on staying that for the whole college season. <laughs> and in terms of like senior level stuff. I would like to qualify for the Olympic trials by winning nationals, and I would definitely go 53 kilos, so 116.6. Yeah, um, for um, college, I wrestled 136, which is the same as senior level, so 62 kilograms, and I plan on going to Olympic trials too by winning nationals, so that's the goal for right now. That's what we're training for, so. 
Perfect. We'll make sure to keep an eye out for you ladies. Um, I'll wrap this part up with this question. Crazy year in 2020. We all went through a pandemic. We all went through so many changes. What are some things that you guys are looking forward to in 2021? And that can be wrestling related or not. So Dahlia, we'll start with you on that one. Um, I'm just hoping that this pandemic is kind of like going to die down. We mm -hmm. all kind of go back to being normal. I mean, it's been crazy this whole 2020, like all this you know, pandemic, like we were going to the national tournament, like, oh, like coronavirus, like it's barely, and then we got through it. And then next thing you know, everything's shutting down. Mm -hmm. and it's been crazy, but I hope that it all just dies down. We go back to normal. And I'm hoping to keep getting invited to the senior camps for sure in 2021. So that's mainly my goal is just to keep, keep seeing myself here at the senior level and stuff. Marissa, what do you think? For 2021, I'm really hoping the pandemic dies down too, especially yeah. with new vaccines coming in and things like that. I'm hoping that we can have more wrestling events safely and that one day we won't have to wear masks while we're warming up and things like <laughs> that and that we can just keep getting to business. And I'm hoping that 2021, I get to reach my goal of being a national champion. I fell a little bit short last year and that's really just something I'm really pushing for this this year and I just hope that we get to have U23s and junior trials in May this year instead of it having instead of having to be patient and have it postponed till November hmm. yeah well we all hope those same things so um I want to go into a little rapid fire question type thing to get people so people can kind of get to know you guys more a little um outside of wrestling so I'm just going to rattle these off and what, whatever comes to your mind quick. Some of them are like a little tough, like you might, you know, want to think about them, but all right, let's go for this one first. Okay. So we'll go Dahlia, then Marissa. Okay. Celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Marky Mark. Wahlberg? Yeah. Really? Yes. I love that. <laughs> okay. Favorite athlete to watch in another sport. Can they be retired? Mm-hmm. Sean Johnson, gymnastics. Okay. Oh my God, I'm like blanking out. <laughs> um, oh my God. Probably, I like watching Steph Curry. He's, yeah, he's good. Okay. So let's say they were gonna make a movie about your life. Who would play you in the movie? What act actress? Uh, I don't know many actresses, to be honest. Mila Kunis. I can see it. <laughs> I don't know many actresses. I don't even know. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna be stuck on this for a while. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, yeah. Okay, favorite TV show? Dexter. Um, Criminal Minds. I love Criminal Minds. Oh my gosh, I watched it so much during the pandemic. Um, where's the best place that you've traveled to? Germany. Yeah, what part? Um, I went to Berlin, and then I also went somewhere else too but it was like in like the village area so it was very rural and i honestly preferred like the rural place because i got to stay with host families and stuff and that was really fun good experience i stayed for like two weeks oh nice yeah i've only been in the states so but i love colorado i got to like you know go out on hikes and stuff and it's so beautiful in colorado so i really like that yeah marissa what is one word that you would use to describe dahlia <laughs> passionate okay Dahlia same question for you kind-hearted oh um do you guys have any go-to karaoke songs mm, not really like when I do karaoke I'll sing whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't have a specific song I'll sing anything no do you guys have any superstitions yeah, I do. When I wrestle, I wear um, PA socks. It's um, Palomino Academy. That was my, um, where I trained at, like, my club. And I wear those, like, all the time. Like, first day, I have them on. Like, I have to wear them when I compete. Like, two days, I have a second pack. I have a backup sock, too. Like, it's, like, my second day. So, like, first day, I'll wear um, these white socks. I have them with four of my um, best friends there. They actually wrestle, too. Like, um, one goes to Campbellsville, and the other goes to McKendry. So, Audrey Lopez, uh, Lizette Rodriguez, and Emily Patton, we all have socks together, so 
I wear that on the first day and then I wear my PA sock the second day. I don't know, I just have to wear those socks when I wrestle. Yeah. Do you have any, Marissa? Yeah, it's kind of weird though, but like I'll, I'll share. <laughs> so in a tournament, like I always have to have like, I call it my like moment of silence and I just like go to the bathroom. Even if I'm like not using the bathroom, I'll just sit there and like close my eyes and listen, listen to myself breathe and just calm my nerves and stuff like that. And then I'm ready to go wrestle like 10 minutes later usually. I don't think that's weird at all. Um, who is the most played on your Spotify or iTunes list? Michael Jackson. Yeah? Um, probably YG. Okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and then I will end with this one. If you guys could have any superpower, what would you have? Read people's minds. Yeah. Um, I'd probably be invisible so I can hop on a plane and go somewhere like Hawaii or something. <laughs> <laughs> so resourceful, I love it. All right, ladies, well, thanks for your time. It was great getting to know you guys. So good Thank luck you. for this season. Thank, Thank you. you.